guys welcome back okay so I have my fan on behind me not sure if you can hear it if you can my apologies but it's a little warm in here and I don't want to turn the AC on because I think the AC is worse than the fan so anyway hi you guys how you doing it is Sunday when I'm filming this I just got back from church yes I did go to church with a bare face why because the Lord will accept me just how I am, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, the internet won't, okay? So we about to do a full face today. I have no idea what I wanna use. I have a few products in front of me, but this video really has no theme, no rhyme, no reason. I'm just basically using stuff out of my stash. But I do wanna play around with this palette. I was gonna just do like a swatch party. This is one of the Revolution Intensely Pigmented Foil Shadow Palettes. Now every time I go to Ulta, it's another Revolution palette that pops out at me. I mean, their palettes are so pretty. And y'all know Revolution is very hit or miss, so I don't know how this is going to work out today, but it's just a bunch of foiled shadows in here. And these are kind of like deep, dark, smoky shades so I thought you know that's kind of pretty but it has this one black matte in here so I guess I'm just gonna maybe smoke out my lid and throw on a couple of these intensely pigmented foiled <laughs> shadows on top it says foil frenzy hybrid so yeah that's all I know about this palette I think I'm going to use that today but I'm gonna get started by lotioning <laughs> lotioning is that a word putting some lotion on these ashy fingers i'm gonna use this Cila creme de la creme cream that i got in my ipsy ultimate bag okay <laughs> look y'all already know how i feel about that ultimate bag okay i'm starting to wonder do i know the definition of ultimate maybe i have a different view of what ultimate should be okay because that bag wasn't it okay or that box wasn't it at all not for no fifty dollars but anyway i digress <laughs> so but this cream is really nice i just use it for my hands you see how small this thing is but i just use it for my hands it smells kind of like like an orange creamsicle or something it smells really good it's nice and thick and it's very moisturizing so yeah I wish I had a full size of this because it's very, very nice. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead prep my face. It's clean, but I'm going to use one of these wipes <laughs> just to kind of wipe off my face, you know, since I'm not like right out of the shower and right out of face cleansing today. I did go worship the Lord today. <laughs> and... God is good, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna use this and wipe the day off before I get started. Now, to moisturize my face, I do wanna go in with some of this e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. I really, really like this stuff, you guys. It feels good, it smells good. It's just a nice, thick, white, cream and you guys know elf stuff is reasonably priced i don't know exactly how much this was but i know that um their stuff is pretty reasonably priced they've really tried to step their game up in regards to skincare and you know different moisturizers and serums and stuff like that so it's really nice they have a nice little variety to choose from now I really like um, most of their skincare stuff. I don't think I've ever really tried anything. Um, well, they have this stick balm thing that I've tried on my face before and I don't like it. It, like, it smells like ammonia or something. But other than that, most of their skincare stuff I actually really like, especially just daily stuff because it's very lightweight, but it feels nice and it's okay for like sensitive skin, you know? So for brows today, I'm also using my e.l.f. Um, brow pomade. The one that I use, I believe, is it espresso? I haven't used it in a while. Yeah, it's espresso. So I'm just gonna use this with my brush and <laughs> draw some brows. Y'all know how I do. 
And I'm also using some of my e.l.f. plumping lip gloss just to soften up these lips. So some of you guys may have seen my palette declutter video. And that was basically just me going through my drawers of palettes that, I mean, I never ever reached for. Now, the way that my beauty space is set up is set up to where I can see all of my palettes, you know, for the most part. I can see them all. There's a few of them that are put away where I can't see them. But for the most part, I can see my palettes. And it has to be that way for me because I'm definitely one of those out of sight, out of mind type people. So if I don't see it, oh, it's not getting used for sure because I don't like having to dig through drawers and stuff to get to my palettes. So I like to be able to come in and just look and just be like, okay, I'm gonna use that today. You know, that's just me. So those palettes <laughs> in that long video of me decluttering a few things was basically palettes that I never ever reached for, never. Now, some of you guys or at least I got a couple of comments, I think, where it was like, you know, I thought you had way more palettes than that, you know, and <laughs> I do, <laughs> I do. I have, honey, I probably have over 200 palettes that were not even in that video, and I'm not proud of that, okay? Let me just put that out there. I'm not proud of that, but those palettes are palettes that I wouldn't even think about decluttering period <laughs> so you know they weren't in that video because i'm not gonna sit here and go through all my palettes and say nope i'm keeping it nope i'm keeping it nope i'm keeping it you know what's the point in that so anyway uh, my point in saying all that is just that i can definitely do um like a palette collection video if you would like to see that but it's like if you think that declutter video was long honey a palette collection video for me would be ridiculous and tiring so i can do it i guess in sections maybe like smaller palettes um you know larger palettes high-end palettes drugstore palettes indie palettes you know i guess i could break it up like that so anyways let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that if you just because I know a lot of people do like to watch like palette collection videos because not only does it <laughs> allow you to be all up in somebody else's business regarding what they have in their collection but it also kind of jogs your memory of palettes that maybe you have that you don't use or it kind of gives you ideas of palettes that are out there that maybe you didn't know about that you would like to add to your collection. You know, just different things like that. That's why I really like watching palette collection videos and declutter videos, you know, for those reasons. Not because I'm nosy, but because I'm usually window shopping. <laughs> so anyways, let me know if you would be interested in that and I could start working on those little by little you know one group at a time those of you who have nice full eyebrows y'all don't know how lucky y'all got it okay y'all don't know how lucky y'all got it because <laughs> having to draw on eyebrows every time you do your makeup that is not fun okay at all and most of the time they don't end up looking right unless you're an expert at it which i am not but I know y'all love me, right? <laughs> so <laughs> so y'all don't drag me too much when my eyebrows look crazy. So I'm just gonna use some of my Wet n Wild concealer to clean up these brows. So who bought the Tati palette? Which one of y'all makeup addicts bought the Tati palette? <laughs> and I'm sitting here talking mess knowing full well that my order was placed, okay? And that's not even a palette that's like, you know, something that I would go goo goo gaga over. It's a really nice palette and I believe, it's a nice looking palette and I believe that the formula is going to be a really good formula. Knowing Tati, you know, she ain't playing no games. She ain't trying to go out like uh, Jaclyn Hill, okay? Wasn't that a mess? 
Wasn't that a whole mess over some doggone lipsticks? That was a mess, okay? But anyway, yeah, so I ordered the Tati palette. I know it's already gonna be five million uh, reviews out there, but for me, I honestly, you know, I just ordered it because I wanted to support Tati. I like Tati and you know, of course I wanted it for my collection, but yeah. How many of y'all ordered that palette? It was less expensive than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, by the time you got through with shipping and stuff, it was <laughs> it was a grip, but um, the actual palette itself wasn't too bad um, price-wise for what I thought, you know, she might charge for her palette. So that was pretty cool. All right, that's as good as it gets today. <laughs> So what do y'all want to do first? Face or eyes? Face or eyes? Let's do face first today, okay? Yep, let's do face first. So, primer. Let's use our Tatcha primer today, okay? I started using this again. Um, my last few makeup applications and just remembering how nice this stuff is if I can get it open. Now, look. My girl Lily got me this. I was shocked the house, okay? She already knew. She was like, you know what? KK is way too cheap. She is not gonna buy that Tatcha Prime. <laughs> so she bought it for me, okay? She is just bomb.com, okay? My friends are bomb.com, okay? I don't know if you guys know who my girls are. Lily and DJ, okay? They are bomb. Both of which are YouTubers here on the tube. So check their channels out. I will link them above. But, you know, listen, when God blesses you with some good friends, you be thankful, okay? You be thankful. But anyways, this Tatcha primer, you guys, it's just, it's really good. It feels good. It's really good at filling pores. It is pricey. It is expensive. I know some people think primer is a sham. You don't need it. <laughs> and maybe you don't. You know, everybody's skin is different. Maybe you don't. I like to have that extra layer of protection in between my face and the 50 other products that I'm about to put on my skin. So I just like to have that extra layer of protection, moisturization, and you know, if you can make my skin look a little bit younger while you at it, knock yourself out, right? Yeah, we are gonna go ahead and be bougie today with our primer. And y'all, I put my stuff back as I use it because when I finish with my uh, face, I like to take my pictures, <laughs> take my video off my camera and get up and go edit, period. I don't like to have to clean up nothing. So I put my stuff away as I use it. Now, I, you know what? Sometimes as a YouTuber, I guess it can be seen as kind of lazy, but as a YouTuber, you know, doing videos and editing and all that stuff, it's a lot of work. So I'm going in with my Bounce Foundation today, you guys. One of my favorites, I love this stuff. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use my, one of my Milan, no, this is BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics uh, foundation brush. My Milani one is dirty, I think. But anyway, yeah, doing videos is like, a lot of work and so <laughs> sometimes when I'm done with my video I don't feel like putting uh, you know all the products that I use and stuff in there you know it's I mean it's kind of lazy sometimes I do sometimes I don't but if you guys ever have a question like oh if I just do an eyeshadow look and you want to know what it is that I used on my face just shoot me a comment and I'll let you know what it is that I used. Cause I don't wanna spend time putting all that in a description box and nobody even reads it, you know? Now today at church, the minister was talking about, um, you know, basically raising your kids. Now, I've already raised my kids, <laughs> but you know, I still like a good message, a good sermon regardless. But you know, he's preaching on raising your kids up the right way and you know, teaching them what they're supposed to um, 
no and all that good stuff and it's like you know I was reading scriptures and it's like in the Bible where it's saying spare the rod spoil the child basically you know if you don't discipline your children including spanking them or whatever that like basically either you discipline them now or you'll see them <laughs> in hell or in jail later you know and so that's how i was raised i understand how people nowadays are like look that's not the best way to discipline your children you know can't be out here beating your kids and stuff because you know people take it to a whole nother level they don't just you know do a little little pop on the butt little whatever just to correct their child you know they get out of hand and i think a lot of there's a lot of reasons why abuse happens because you know what they say hurt people hurt people so as adults just because we're adults just because we're parents and we have kids and stuff that does not mean that we're perfect or that we know exactly how to parent or how to raise and teach and all that stuff how to correct and discipline because we grew up a lot of us at least in my age bracket where you know shoot it was okay for your teacher to <laughs> you know correct you at school and stuff like that it wasn't as regulated as it is nowadays you know what i'm saying and so we were raised a certain way our parents definitely were raised you know with spoil the rot or uh, what is it spare the rot spoil the child and so in that instance i don't like this brush that much i like my other brush better but anyway in that instance it's um kind of like you do what you were taught or how you were raised or how you were brought up sometimes it's kind of hard to break that generational you know situation so i was just thinking about that um today how i was raised you know you mess up you ditch school you get bad grades and stuff like that yeah you get in trouble you get punished but you're probably gonna get the belt too <laughs> before you get sent to your room you probably gonna get the belt too so that's how i was raised now with my kids yeah i spanked them occasionally my kids weren't really bad my kids were actually pretty good so yeah i did i spanked them occasionally or whatever if they needed it but it, it never was <laughs> at the um, level of abuse. You know, you're just correcting and, and trying to teach your child. Because, honey, if you don't, they showing up will embarrass you in public. Let You ever seen them kids in a grocery store? And it's like, uh, honey, you need to do something with your child, okay? But <laughs> it's like, in this day and age, you know, people are scared to discipline their child or just kind of scared of the consequences and I don't know how I got on this topic oh I was talking talking about church but yes yeah, like people get kind of scared of the consequences of disciplining your child so you kind of let your child run all over you and stuff which I was never that way you know my kids knew when they came out the womb don't play with me <laughs> don't play with me okay and uh I say what I mean and I'm only gonna say it once and if I have to say it twice then we got we got a problem so and you know my kids turned out okay <laughs> you know I've got some pretty darn good kids but I know everybody's not the same everybody's not raised the same and so I'm not <laughs> in any way shape or form trying to tell anybody how to raise their kids this is the elf camo concealer but I guess I said all that to say that it's not only important to teach your children, correct your children, uh, raise productive members of society, okay, especially in this day and age. Um, let them know you love them. Let them know that they're special, that they mean something to you. And if nobody else tells them ever in life that they are beautiful, they're special, they're loved, and hey, you know, I care about you. You come to me, you need something to talk about, I'm here. You know, kids, they need love just as much as they need discipline, just as much as they need correction. And I think sometimes that kind of gets lost. A lot of parents that didn't receive love growing up themselves, you know, there's a lot of broken homes, a lot of um, 
single parent homes and stuff where you know moms had to work <laughs> long hours and they weren't able to be that perfect parent or whatever to their child or always be on top of everything you know parents are human but just remember to let your kids know hey i love you i see you you're important to me you're special and you know you're you have meaning your life has meaning i just hate when i see kids fall through the cracks anxiety mental illness all that stuff is very very real you guys very very real not only for adults but for children as well and it's hard it's really really hard i don't want to get emotional because you know this is this touches me close to home but it's really really hard um you know when you're dealing with things of that that nature and you're a hurt damaged person that is lacking <laughs> but you know you're trying to give your all to your kids so anyway that is just the message of today tell your kids you love them while you're beating them okay <laughs> i'm just kidding y'all know i'm playing but anyway so yeah i'm gonna go in in the highlighted areas with my becca hydra mist powder I put that in more than just my highlighted areas but it's all good I really like this stuff and to set the rest of my face I'm going in with my Too Faced um, this is their powder foundation and I believe I have the shade spiced rum same shade I have in the liquid foundation I love sitting down and going from busted the house to what your name is <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I mean I think that's another part of why I love playing in makeup so much is because you can literally go from like a three to a ten okay <laughs> with just a little bit of makeup okay okay so for bronzer today I'm gonna use my Morphe Glamour bronze okay this stuff just never does me wrong never does me wrong so i'm just gonna bronze up right quick bronze up my edges <laughs> gotta make everything cohesive y'all okay so for blush i'm trying out this catrice and iman palette I saw my girl Tasha St. James using this on her channel and I was like, um, that's pretty, okay. Picked it up from Ulta and the colors are nice and vibrant, very pretty. Let me see if you can see that there. Very, very pretty colors in here, okay. So we're gonna check this out and see what's happening. I think I used it once before, but not on camera. So I think I'm gonna mix these two these two right here i'm gonna go ahead and mix those two together i think there is this one here has a little bit of shimmer in it which you guys know i don't like shimmery blush so hopefully i don't get any of that in there but this stuff looks to be nicely pigmented here's a whew. there is a bit of kick up but yeah it is nicely pigmented oh i like that it's giving me kind of like a summer, summertime cheek, okay? During the fall, I like to use like more of the deep wine and burgundy shades of blush just, you know, because it's that time of year, but it's all good. I just had to try this out. But yeah, there is a lot of powder. <laughs> a lot of powder, but it is Catrice, so okay and for highlight i'm going to use something that's not really a highlighter this is a glow and bronze powder from kiss i saw this at my local beauty supply and i about fell out i was like oh my gosh that is so freaking pretty now i don't do shimmery bronzers but y'all look at this it is so pretty so when i saw that right off the bat i was like uh yeah i'm going to use that as a highlighter <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use it as a highlighter. Look at that. Look at that. 
okay? Look at that. Bomb. Bomb, okay? So we're gonna use this to highlight today. I really like using these kind of highlighters because it's like, it just creates a nice soft sheen. Nothing harsh or crazy, but it is buildable. So if you wanna just keep building it up and building it up, you can, okay? See, nothing too crazy. It's just that nice soft glow. Okay, so I think that's it for the face, y'all. Okay, so let's move on to this Revolution palette. This, um, what is it, Foil Frenzy Hybrid palette. So I think what I'm gonna do, since <laughs> I just have this black here as a matte, I'm gonna just gently place some of that on my lid and try and smoke it out. Hopefully it doesn't go too crazy, honey. You know what, let me do some swatches right quick so I can see what's happening. What? Okay. Okay. I'm not done yet, y'all. Yo, these colors. Yo. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see. This one is really pretty, and I don't know if you can really see it that well. I'm going to swatch it again right here. Oh my goodness, yeah, you can't see it that well, but it's kind of like a coppery color. Oh, oh, oh. oh my gosh. Whoa, do you guys see these? Ah, I'm shocked. I am like seriously shocked right now. But I'm also kind of <laughs> scared because y'all know I don't use my fingers to apply eyeshadow. So I don't know how this is gonna work with a brush but this is that black as you can see it's not like crazy pigmented but that's what the black looks like the matte black so i'm gonna use this deep plum shade here and i think i'm gonna use this kind of gray shade here yeah i'm not really sure what i'm supposed to do with this black because it's not like a regular matte shadow so, you know, it's like, it's not picking up on the brush easily. I'm kind of having to dig into it. I think this black shade you're supposed to use with your finger as well. But I'm just going to use it just to create a little bit of smokiness in my, you know, crease for these shimmers. So yeah, that black is definitely not a shade that I would suggest using with a fluffy brush to try and smoke out your lid. I mean, you can obviously because I did, but it's a lot more work and more hassle than it's worth. I would just pull one of my palettes that has like my favorite matte shade or whatever color you wanna use to blow out on your lid and just use that because this one has a strange texture to it. Okay, so for this lid, I'm gonna go in with that pretty plum shade and I am gonna use a brush. Okay, y'all know. Okay. And these are not like regular shimmers. They have a little bit of a thicker, I don't want to say putty feel to them, but they're just, they're not like regular shimmers. Dang it, I really don't want to use my finger. Uh, here we go. And especially with nails on, y'all know that's almost impossible. Ooh, we're gonna be smoky the house. <laughs> smoky the house. Oh, that's pretty. Can y'all see that? That's pretty. Yeah, you definitely need to use your finger for these. For show, for show. Oh, that's pretty. And another reason why I don't really like using my finger to apply shadows is because I wear contacts. And so whenever I'm rubbing on my lid like that, I can feel my contact moving and I don't like that. So 
I wish it packed a little bit more punch, but that's the color that it, it's supposed to be. I'm gonna have to add a little bit of highlight. Okay, so I feel like I need to brighten this up in my inner corners just a little bit. So instead of going into that dark gray, I think I'm gonna go into this shade here and hopefully I can use a brush for that in my inner corner. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay, that escalated quickly. I didn't mean to put that much, you guys. Okay, let me try and blend this out just a little bit. I did not mean to put that much. That escalated very quickly. Okay, we highlighted. Now I wanna smoke out my lower lash line, so I'm gonna have to grab another palette because I don't wanna use this black. So I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty Nude, her original nude palette, and I'm gonna go into this dark purple here and smoke out my lower lash line. black Milani eyeliner. For lashes, I'm just gonna go in with some of my Mad Lash from The Balm. So yeah, you guys, I know earlier I was, um, you know, kind of talking about maybe what could be seen as like a heavy topic, you know, children and all that stuff. Um, I don't typically have like just random topics that I talk about <laughs> when I'm doing my makeup. I'm usually talking about makeup or something that has to do with the, you know, beauty community. But um, yeah, so hopefully no one gets offended or anything like that. Look, you give birth to your kids, I feel like you should raise them how you see fit as long as you're not abusing them or creating a problem for society to deal with later. So that's just my perspective on that. This mascara ain't too bad. Not too bad at all. Another reason why I don't talk in my videos a lot is because they be extra long. <laughs> extra long. And I'm not the best editor, so. Okay, now since these eyes are so smoky, I'm gonna try and chill out keep my lips a little bit simple so I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner which is like a brown earthy brown and I'm going to go in with my ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss and this is in the color Sapia <laughs> I know I said I was gonna go easy on my lips but this is darker <laughs> it came out darker than I thought it would but all good. Okay, so I'm gonna set my face with my ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray. Okay, you guys, so this is the look for today. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I was gonna be going this smoky, but I think it's a pretty look. You guys let me know in the comments if you can see that purple. I know that highlight shade you can see, but I like it. I think it's pretty. I don't know. This palette is a little bit more work than <laughs> I care to do. <laughs> okay. I mean, they swatch amazing. You guys saw that. They swatch beautifully. But if you don't like using your fingers to, you know, apply shadow, you might not like this. Like, I don't. But these shadows, you guys, they are gorgeous. So, I don't know. It was probably, what, about 10 bucks, maybe? 10, 12 bucks, I think, at Ulta. So it's nice if you like this type of thing. Um, to me, it's a little bit more work than it's worth. <laughs> so anyways, that's my thoughts on that palette, you guys. That's my thoughts on life. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles.